Welcome to Great Talk and Entertainment. I'm your host, KJ, and this is the podcast where we talk about TV shows, movies, comic books, and much, much more. And with a whole lot of entertainment that you can only get on this YouTube channel on Great Talk and Entertainment. So, with that being said, this episode is about reviewing episode one for the new Marvel series on Disney Plus called Marvel's What If. And we're reviewing episode one, which is about Captain Carter or Captain Peggy Carter, or if you want to go more comic book origin, Captain Britain or Ms. Captain Britain. The words, your choice, are yours to go with. So, now, this is a spoiler, so if you haven't seen this, Give me a thumbs up on uh, YouTube, subscribe, and then come back after you watch this on the Disney Plus streaming service, or however you may do it. So, episode one's about Captain Carter, where this is like, what if Captain Carter stayed in the uh, experimenting room when Steve Rogers was going to get the uh, first uh, uh, super, uh, yep, I think that's it, super soldier serum. In the movie, uh, spoilers if you've never seen the Captain America First Avenger movie. Uh, in that movie, Peggy Carter, Peggy Carter uh, leaves the room. She goes into like another, uh, like a, like an office or some type, or the control rooms where you have generals, uh, sponsors, the mayor, uh, big politician names stay and uh, behind this like glass. Or plexiglass type thing. And in that movie. Uh, obviously there's a secret Hydra spy. And he blows it up. And instead. Uh, of this. Instead of Captain America. Steve Rogers. Instead of him staying in that. Uh, machine taking the super soldier. In this one. In Marvel's What If. Captain Carter stays. And she takes it and and this is how it goes so they had a, a an evil spy who works for hydra and he pulled out the lighter and he f- pressed the button and then the bomb explode well <clears throat> and then the guy shoots steve rogers instead of so he's just too hurt to go in the machine so uh tony stark iron man aka iron man his grandpa who invented the the stuff uh, he was like, oh, we need somebody to come in here and Peggy Carter. And it goes on from that. Now, the the story of how Peggy Carter does it is pretty similar to Captain America, the first Avenger movie as a plot. And what I mean by that is, yeah, there is some big changes because it's obviously called Marvel Studios. What if like what if this and this happened? And. The, the 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 it's the same format same type of struggle but the difference of the struggle but it's the same type of struggle in a way is obviously back in that time uh women weren't supposed to be soldiers uh women weren't supposed to be captains and whatnot and uh the general was like against it captain carter took the stuff and she was determined to take down hydra now, Hydra was still the same, just like in the Captain America First Avenger movie. The First Avenger. It's still that. You know, Red Skull, he still wanted the uh, Power Stone. And he still wanted to take over the world and somewhat destroy it. As far as what it went is, the, the ending is different, but the ending's the same. as the same fate as Captain America did, but it's the same fate for... Peggy Car Peggy, Peggy Carter, but a little bit different. So let's talk about the difference between Captain America and Captain Carter. Or uh Captain Carter, you know, obviously she doesn't have the American flag on her suit, nor the shield. It's the same shield, but not with the American uh star. It's more of a Britain, the UK type flag. And they don't, a lot of the wars are not going on in America, they're happening in the uh, UK part, so there's a difference of that. 
uh, you know, Captain Carter has a sword. Yes, a legit sword, not like a power sword or a magical sword, just your regular medieval time sword, which I'm sure it's a pretty good, decent sword, no, no doubt about that, but it's not like a sword that's made by the gods that Thor can get or Loki can get. No, this is more of just your, your a pretty good, decent sword, so... It might be made out of Vibrabian. I am not sure, but they weren't cl clear on that part. That's the difference. Uh, another thing is, uh, the difference is she struggles through uh, women's rights. Because that, like in that type of era, women, you know, obviously couldn't vote. Uh, they couldn't become soldiers or, like I said, be captains. So those are her struggles, but she still fought through the war, obviously. Um, what I what I did what did I like about this as a whole? Uh, let's see. I did like the animation. The animation's really good. Very well drawn. Very well put together. I love the background. Uh, you know, my favorite scene uh, was the train. Uh, so in this one, here's another big difference: is instead of Bucky falling off the train and pretty much close to death after he falls off and then he becomes the winter soldier this one is uh bucky bucky survives like he doesn't fall off captain uh carter pretty much catches him and yeah he did the pun like oh you almost ripped my arm off blah 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 and what you see is uh steve rogers instead of him being captain america he drives or flies these uh iron man suit which they call it the hydra buster and the hydra buster is a uh, just like the hulk buster or the black panther buster but the difference is it's not highly technology as the hulk buster because this one is more based off of the same metal and material you would use for an army tank and yet it does have jetpack. It doesn't like have the blasters like Iron Man, but it shoots missiles and stuff. And it has a really powerful rocket so he can fly. And it's very well protective because he did survive the uh, exploding uh, train with the bombs were in. It's still a very uh, Tony Stark, but it's, made, it's not made by Tony Stark. It's made by Tony Stark's uh, grandpa. And so there's that, which that's no big deal, you know, big whoop. Another thing that they they had is uh, there's a monster that came out. Um, it it had like a it was like a an octopus or a squid. It had so many arms. Um, it didn't show the head or face or it didn't show its eyes. And I know a lot of people think, oh, it could be that monster from. Guardian of the Galaxy Volume 2, or it could be a uh, new Marvel character, another, not new Marvel character, but debuting a certain Marvel character, which I forgot the name, but if you know it, just leave it in the comments for us, uh, in the comments on the YouTube channel, please. So, I'm not going to go deep in that, of like, what could it be, I just think it was a monster but I don't know if it's a new monster or a familiar monster that we may have saw in the Guardian of the Galaxy. I don't know. But there's a high chance it could be because Episode 2 is going to be like about Chichala being Star-Lord, basically. I won't go into too much detail. Um, what did I give this show? 1 out of 10. I gave it a 10. I think it's really good, great storytelling by Marvel Studio, of course. Um, now this takes place after Loki, and then it's then it's WandaVision, so that's pretty interesting. Um, so I guess they're kind of saying that if it wasn't for Loki and the other variants of Loki, and of course came the Conqueror who got stabbed by uh, the female Loki, Sylvie. Uh, this wouldn't happen per se, but I think I really think this was more of a Wanda effect. But uh, but according to Marvel and Disney, it, it's because of Loki. It looks like from that, so that'd be pretty interesting to see what's going on from there. 
Um, any improvements do I think? Well, I can't really say a lot, but I hope that they get more weird and crazy like they did for Loki in WandaVision. Like, do the thing, do the thing that we won't think you got uh, Marvel and Disney won't do, but they actually do it with like these what ifs like you know for example um you know what if deadpool showed up and you know he he destroyed ultron you know that'd be cool uh but we don't know if they'll go that far so i i personally hope they do but like i said i'm giving this one out of ten i'm giving a good, straight solid ten because it was a great a, such a great show for episode one and another thing i like to talk about is the background music and the music during the battle scene i it was such a classic way it was like a, it reminded me of a classic cartoons like looney tunes or the old 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 mickey mouse shows it kind of reminded me of that but obviously more action packed with marvel stuff but i really like that um like i said the the music background was one of my favorites so i can't wait to see what episode two is gonna be like so i'll definitely review that so but yeah that's it um not a lot of easter eggs i mean a lot of reference to the first captain america movie uh captain america and the first avengers a lot of callbacks to that as far as similar scenes if you want to compare that episode to that movie yeah there's similar scenes uh obviously power stone red skull um it seemed like red skull might have the same destiny and faith of him losing but i don't know if he's in the soul stone world in the marvel what if i don't know if they will come to that or talk about that i don't know but I hope they do. I hope that's another thing I hope is they focus at least have one episode where it's all about Red Skull. I think that's just another villain they really haven't tapped into as far as live action or or even now animated animation type. I just kind of hope that they dig deeper in Red Skull now and uh, maybe we'll see him again in future uh, Marvel films. So who knows? So that was it. I like it. I really like it, guys. Um, guys, I want to hear your guys' opinion on this. Did you like the episode? Just leave it in the comments. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys so much. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Great Talk and Entertainment. And give me a thumbs up. And um, hit that notification button so you can always keep update when I upload some more. So... Stay tuned for more of this and some other future movies and TV show reviews. So, peace out.